what's going on guys it's me again Vince with another video and today I'm gonna be talking about this thing behind me right here so this tent is actually from a company called Overland Vehicle Systems um, they're fairly new to the rooftop tent industry I think they said they've only been in business for about 10 months um, at first I was a bit skeptical I didn't know if I should really go with them or go with the you know the more expensive brands but then again I thought to myself I'm really not gonna be using the tent a lot you know I don't go off-roading I barely go overlanding I just want to use it for camping and I barely go camping as well so I don't know I just wanted to buy the rooftop tent just to test it out and see how I like it. If you go online, their descriptions, uh, all the materials that they use are actually pretty much the same with those high-end brands. And like I said, it's on paper. I'm not sure when we open this box and see the actual materials if it's really, you know, if it's really durable. So we'll see. We'll see if they live up to what they claim they are. Um, I'm really excited and can't wait to open this and then assemble it and yeah so let's get to the process Accessories and additional parts are inside the tent. So these are the accessories that come with the package. All your hardwares um, came with the bag, and those I think are shoe pouches. That's the cover, and this one's cool because this is like an LED strip. You got the telescopic ladder. It comes in a pouch as well. It's pretty nice. And these are the stakes that holds the rain fly and the windows. Also comes with, I don't know, these are deflated, but it's like two pillows. Came with two small pillows. Those are the rails. So yeah. So far so good, I'm liking it. It even came with a dustpan and a broom, or like a brush. So, let's, we'll see. Also the good thing about this rooftop tent is that it has a diamond plate reinforced floor, which is kind of heavy, but it's pretty sturdy. So, looks nice. remove the cap of the rails and screw I mean the nut inside this part right here and just line them all up So I actually 
found out a way on how to properly and easily um, mount your rooftop tent on your bed rack by, with just one person. So I'm going to try to do it and I'm going to try to show you guys. Okay. the bed rack sit on the tailgate with the rails facing you and by this time you should already know which orientation you want the bed rack to unfold either the driver's side or the passenger side So there you go, it's on top of the rack. And then make sure to measure all the sides just to make it even. So these are the hardwares that we're going to be using to mount the rooftop tent on the bed rack. What's going to happen is just remove this cap and then just slide them in there. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do is um, to slide these brackets in first before measuring the distances because now you have to lift this one up again and who knows it might move around so you'll have to measure it again so the brackets that go in the middle part just try to slide them in before you measure it the ladder. so this is the ladder that came with the rooftop tent it's a what you call a telescopic ladder it's very easy to unfold I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my new house. Come on. So as you come up to my new house, you'll see a telescopic ladder. And just so you know, nobody is allowed to get in there with uh, dirty feet or dirty shoes. But no worries, I have these bags right here. You can leave your shoes. So everybody's welcome in here. And as you go inside, voila! As you can see, it's not yet fully furnished. <laughs> I only have two pillows here. It actually came with the rooftop tent. Um, I also have this LED strip. And when things get dirty, you have a dustpan. <laughs> Okay, I got two windows 
and one more exit over there and cool thing is it has a uh, this stargazing window here it's pretty nice it's very roomy here I believe it can actually fit two adults and one kid it also comes with this thick mattress I believe this is three inches and I'm telling you the materials are pretty solid I've seen some of the high-end brands out there and I've actually been in one and I can tell that the materials are pretty much the same the stitchings are also nice it has double stitching here on the windows and on the corners Let's see how these things hold up after few or several usages. But so far so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And like I said, this is from a company called Overland Vehicle System. It's pretty cheap compared to the branded ones. But yeah, so far the material seems nice. You can actually put an annex here too. See there's a zipper that goes around. You can actually zip the annex in there. This zipper is right there. It has this holes to open up the window. There's another window right there. And another door. Like I said, so far so good. And this model is particularly called the uh, Nomadic 2. They have 3 and 4, which are bigger. I don't think I need anything bigger than this. Alright guys, 